Well, hello, you wonderful souls. It's time to dive into this week's... Oh, bro, it's just like... <laughs> Song of the Week. <clears throat> Indeed. All right. This week's Song of the Week choice is the incredible Jordan Cook, otherwise known as Rainwolf. What a flipping legendary Canadian this fella already is. So... Let's do a bit of watching. Let's go to whatwasatradio.com. Let's zoom this in a bit here. Scroll down a bit. Can't load on mobile, but we're on PC. There you go. We're going to watch some of this performance at the festival. So good. So The Woods, photo by Elliot Reynolds. Thank you very much, Elliot. Featuring Brad Wilk is this week's Song of the Week choice. And let's do some context firstly on how incredible a performer Rainwolf is. Oh, it's listed down here, actually. Let's go through the portal. Select Mr. Wolf. We're well, firstly going to watch a bit of a performance at the Music Midtown Festival that is just legendary in the pouring rain. All right. Yeah, let's let's go this way first. Let's go this route like first. This. this one's called "Are You Satisfied." <laughs> As I scoff my breakfast smoothie and protein bar here, <clears throat> you see how comfortable this man is in such a setting. He is utterly world class. I've still got half of the protein. Let me just. Eat. You know. It's just incredible. It's absolutely nuts. That's fascinating. It says they're out of Seattle, which is true. Spent a lot of time in Seattle. But Jordan Cook is originally from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. On his early workings, his backing band were Pearl Jam. Like, just being down there in Seattle doing his thing, Mr. Chamberlain... Mr. Vedder become familiar with. And I remember when we first, I first saw Rainwolf. I wonder if there's, there's got to be. Wayne, uh, Lucky Bar, Victoria music scene, Adam Lee, surely all those years ago. If I just search Victoria BC.
2018. Rock the Shores, 2013. I'd seen him a few months before this, but the show isn't, I don't see it showing up here. Anyone had any footage or anything like that, but when he was just by himself. Oh, this is definitely not be- not great on the eardrums, but you'll get the idea of the energy this guy brings, whether it's him, three-piece, or anything in between. There's just something very special about a pure rock star, a pure performer, someone that just oozes. Every ounce of them is just screaming out, I am special. And with Jordan Cook, he doesn't say that himself. I've never heard him say anything arrogant about how he's the saviour or this or that, like you see in so many of the usual mainstream press publications. Rock stars walking around saying, you need me. This scene needs me. I'm going to tell this scene what it's going to be. Then you've got the true rock star. All right, and this is not this is not me throwing what is very clearly shade at Machine Gun Kelly. This is a rock star. But for me there's a there's a there's two types of rock star. There's the one that is as I just said, and then there's the other that just is and doesn't need you to say, doesn't consider themselves to bay, just is that special. Jordan Cook Rainwolf. This last 45 seconds would give Machine Gun Kelly a fucking headache. Imagining how he could try and... He could get to that standard of guitar for sure, but wouldn't be as pure. I'll, th- I'll stop the Machine Gun Kelly jokes just so we don't seem that we're being too aggressive and sadistic in today's Song of the Week video. All right, let's check out that District Nightclub footage. want something with a slight slightly better sound we'll get to this cardboard session in a second who's radio wrx max interesting capturing a lot of these oh you can't read it when it's this small but kxp performance let's do this q performance two years ago of keeper Late night, what's your intention? Got a Bible to swear on. Not satisfied, oh, temptation. Oh no, hold on. Cause I'm a keeper, baby Honestly All my life All my days Always I'm a keeper, baby Honestly All my life All my days Always and that's a big thing to mention with regard to his playing ability is just look at that right hand. People like Jeff Beck, a legendary guitar player, don't use plectrums. He doesn't, he's all about finger picking. 
And with Jordan, he'll go between the two. Sometimes you'll see him holding a plectrum in his first two, but then using the next three to scrape at the same time. So it's giving that harsh crank. crank. There's obviously a bunch of pedals involved in it as well and EQ and just how he's refined that sound. But it is massive into how he creates these sounds. His hands are magic. They're magic. Just watch, just watch, watch those hands. Survive on your footsteps. Just a cold call. Yeah. Away. Your light always oh, blinds me like a gold mine. I'm a keeper, baby, honestly, all my life, all my days away. I'm a keeper, baby, honestly, all my life. All my days away. Just so fucking good. It's just insane. It's so fucking good. The song I wrote with the song of the week on the website here. I've been lucky enough to see Rain Wolf live a handful of times, whether it's in a tiny club or on a festival stage. He's one of the most passionate and memorable performers I've ever seen. Whether he has a full band beside him or he's sat behind a kit with a mic and a guitar in hand, he puts on a sweaty clinic everywhere he goes. Quite simply, he's a must-see, must-listen-to musician who is world-class. I cannot say that enough. You've got to watch the Music Midtown Festival performance, which we've covered. Jordan Cook and Brad Wilk have been friends for a few years. Brad Wilk of Rage Against the Machine, among other projects. And he recorded this song while recording a segment for Signal Snowboards, live off the floor to tape at Sunset Sound in Los Angeles. Rainwolf said to Billboard, quote, Wilk means wolf in Polish and we went into the woods together, end quote. So the cardboard sessions are what you want, what you there. This uh, everything's made out of cardboard, instrumentally. Let's check some of this. So you'll see, looking at the drum kit here, obviously the hardware is all metal and etc. It's the actual, and the skins are normal drum skins. It's the it's the it's the shells. It's going to say the frames. It's the shells that are cardboard on this drum kit. Jordan right now starting with a standard guitar. I think they've done that to show the difference in what really many wouldn't even notice audibly. You'll see. Oh, and side note, Brad Wilk did uh, drum for Black Sabbath a handful of years ago. And... In this early little exchange here, as they get warmed up and try and figure out a flow, Brad dives into some Black Sabbath. I'm just, I, I, I usually don't preface anything, but it's only about 20 seconds, but it's really fucking good. See if you spot it. All right. Switch it. This is the cardboard fender. 
We are here at the famous Sunset Sound Studios in Hollywood, California with Rainwolf and Brad Wilk for another Cardboard Sessions. You give it, you give it. Start us up. Anyone else hear it then? And then they quickly changed. And I just wonder, it's jamming. I just wonder if that's from a subconscious place in Jordan Cook that's like, this is fucking Brad Wilk. I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw some shit in here. I don't think anything is pre-planned. I think it's just the artist rising to the surface and being like, this is an opportunity to go through a few riffs that are quite similar and jam with a fucking legend. Let's do it. And that's something Brad Wilk has always done so well is, did you notice how he sort of went halftime on that beat? He, he halved what the pattern on the hi-hat was and you could see in his body that he was like throwing the stick down like this and that extra movement was making it be, was making the difference. Did I explain that right? It's like when, when I grabbed this and my arm did this, if I went like this, That's a fucking terror. Oh my God, we're not even watching it. You're watching me watching it. Let's start again. You can't not see this. Having said that, though, now that you've seen me explain, when you actually visually see it, will it make any difference? <laughs> okay, switch it up. Right, so in comes the cardboard. Now, you'll see, you'll actually fucking see it this time. We are here at the famous Sunset Sound Studios in Hollywood, California with Rainwolf. And this is why when you see me looking this way a lot, it's checking that I'm still recording or I'm on the right scene. Wish I had done that five minutes ago. Brad Wilk for another Cardboard Sessions. You give it, you give it. Start us up. I just want to look at this this facial expression here he's like hang on he's like a kid at christmas look at that little eye peering out through the beanie under the toque here he is like a kid at fucking christmas you give it i can't believe it santa you go first santa start us up and Brad's look at him is like, oh. Start us up. Like this slightly raised eyebrow, like, oh, we're going to go. I'm so glad you guys can see this finally. <clears throat> Thank you. 
I mean, just look at this is just the ability of these two is blowing my fucking mind. And I've watched this like 20 times already. Jordan playing the very tippity top. I mean, just the way that he's manipulating that guitar to get these tones is nuts. I love the the sheer concentration in Brad's eyes. The look on his face of just like, I'm fucking locked and I am going to rock. I am locked and rocked, baby. And then every now and again, he breaks and that little smile that comes through that is like, this is so fucking cool. The energy is palpable. This is just incredible. Oh, there goes my light. And this roll. That roll. Take no fucking prisoners. Brad went from clean and tidy to absolutely dripping in sweat in exactly three minutes. That's how much he is channeling into this performance. This is just remarkable. And we're going to leave it there because I want you to dive into it and watch the rest in your own, in your own way, right? Get your headphones, whatever your usual way of going is and dive into that because it's just, it's unbelievable. So we've reached the Song of the Week choice itself, a song that came out the back of all these jam sessions, recorded live to tape right there in that very Sunset Sound studio. And I'm pretty sure they did release a music video for it two days ago. So let's dive into this. Who did this video? It's so good. Only 1,153 views. This blows my... Oh, premiered 11 hours ago. But still, this blows my mind. Directors Glendon and Isabella. Thank you both. No surnames. We don't need to look you up to a high to do some work. Uh, Brad, drums, mixed at Sunset Sound. Written by Jordan Cook. Mixed by Tony Hoffer. Mastering Howie Weinberg. Engineer Chris Stephan. Interesting. Editing Josh. Additional... 
Oh, so we don't. I, I don't. We. I guess Glendon and Isabella. Thank you for directing it. Did you draw it and make it too? This video. I may as well fucking just read Mum and Dad. I don't. What am I going to do with that? Loving him out of purple in this. Lord of the Rings shit going on here. Trees that are just trying to impale them, sort of like lightning bolts from the sky. But what are these giant orb flies? Fireflies, just extreme, like Stranger Things style. I hope these two make an entire fucking record together. It's just absolutely mind-blowing. And there you have it. That's your song of the week vid this week. <laughs> let's go back to just me. Hang on, let's play oh, this too. Oh, bro, it's just like... <laughs> song you... of the week. Oh, yes, song of the week. I'm speaking over myself saying that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the video this week was brought to you by our new sponsor, Tiger Lily Trades. And <laughs> I'm wearing one of Jody's shirts. Don't trip. I came down the staircase this morning saying, don't trip, don't trip. And uh, I, mean, I thought it was funny. Bang my knee last night at work, just walking into things and dropping things and boxes falling and things. And so I knew that she'd be unsuspecting and be wearing such a wonderful shirt. I'll show you the back. There we go. Whatever you're doing the rest of your day, and as always, please look after yourself. And I hope there's some fun and smiles involved in the rest of it too, because we've got to cherish that positive. Exit scene, ending scene. Until next time, Ian. Uh, no. Lots of love, and thanks for your support. Cheerio for now. <laughs>